Hello everyone, I am Jennifer from In Touch. Thank you for joining me for our online classes. Um, tonight I will be um, teaching a short form Ashtanga class, um, which is basically a set series of poses, um, kind of like the original Vinyasa class. So um, it can be a little harder for beginners, but um, modification is always available. Um, so, you know, skip chaturangas, come straight to down dogs, take a child's pose when needed, um, table instead of down dog, um, options are always available to you. Um, if you do need any props, if you don't have, you know, a yoga uh, block or blanket or anything, grab a blanket from home, you can fold it up as you need. Um, if you don't have a block, um, you know, get creative. Something that's just a little bit sturdy that you can rest your hand on um, that can support you. Um, to anything that's around the house. So, um, but let's begin. Um, we're going to start at the top of our mat, coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose. So we're just going to root through our feet, stand nice and tall, drop your arms by your sides, and allow your hands to face forward. Maybe spread the fingers wide as we start to just engage our body. Rooting through the feet, the crown of your head is reaching tall. And start to focus in on your breath. Gradually increasing and deepening your inhales and your exhales. In and out through your nose if possible. And maybe coming to a full ujjayi breath, restricting the back of your throat as you exhale, kind of creating that ocean sound. Start to engage your energy lots, your bandhas. So your mula bandha, pull, pull up your root. The uddiyana bandha, pull in and up through the belly button. Just bringing that slight engagement through to your center. And let's inhale our arms up. Exhale, draw your hands together at heart center. Maybe take a moment to set an intention in for your class. Just thanking yourself for being here on your mat. And then we'll begin with our Surya Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. So we'll inhale, arms reach up. As you exhale, forward fold. Make a connection as you fold, whether it's the floor or your shins. Inhale, halfway up for length. Exhale, let's plant our hands. Step back, plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, nice strong core. As you exhale, we're going to hug the elbows in, lowering the chest, chaturanga. If you need to, come to your knees and then lower the chest. Untucking the toes, inhale, upward facing dog, pushing down through the tops of the feet. Shoulders resting from your ears as the crown of your head reaches tall. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. And maybe this first down dog, you want to pedal through your feet. Just bend through one knee and then the other. Just beginning to slowly break through the tightness in our calves and our hamstrings. Maybe swaying your hips side to side, just slowly warming up the body. As you inhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat, coming to a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach and rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms lift again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant your hands, step back again to plank pose, bending back through the elbows, lower the chest. Untuck the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Nice deep breaths here. Allowing your heels to rest towards the mat, chest towards the thighs. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Still breathing. As you inhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat, coming back to your flat back. 
Exhale, begin to fold in. Inhale, reach and rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll do one more sun salutation. A, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to your plank pose. Hugging those elbows, lower the chest. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Nice deep breaths. Engaging the body through your center, through your inner thighs, down through your arms. As you inhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat, coming to a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath. And we'll begin with our Surya Namaskara B, Sun Salutation B. Let's put a bend through our knees as we sit back. Inhale, arms lift, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Let's take that vinyasa coming into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, back, down dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Left foot will plant. Warrior one as we lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Take another vinyasa, or you can always skip and come straight to down dog. Always choose what your body needs in your practice. Inhale, we're going to step our left foot forward, right foot will plant, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands. Again, step back, down dog or vinyasa. Taking a few breaths here in our down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat, coming to a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Bend through the knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart with straight legs. Good. Another SMB, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale for length. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Vinyasa. Again, always modify when you need. Inhale, right foot forward, left foot plants, warrior one as you lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Vinyasa. Inhale, left foot forward, right foot plants, warrior one. Exhale down. Step back. Vinyasa. And then just take some breaths in your down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, step or walk to the top of your mat, coming to a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart with straight legs. Last sun B, bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Take another vinyasa. Again, modify when you need. Inhale, 
Inhale, step your right foot forward, left foot plants, warrior one. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, down dog or vinyasa. Inhale, left foot forward, right foot plants, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, down dog or vinyasa. And breathe. Allow the body to rest in your down dog. As you inhale, bend your knees. Step or walk to the top of your mat, coming to a flat back. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees, inhale back to your chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart with straight legs. Take some breaths. Looking down at our feet, let's draw our feet underneath our hip points or a little bit wider. Engaging up through the core, standing tall. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hinge at the hips as you forward fold. Take a bind with your peace fingers and your big toes. Inhale, halfway up for length. As you exhale, fold in Padangustasana. Keeping a slight engagement to the core. Let's release that bind. If you need to now, you're gonna, if you need to put a bun through your knees, we're going to slide our hands underneath the bottoms of our feet. Inhale, halfway for length. Exhale, fold in, Padahasthasana. So if you have really tight hamstrings here, or calves, the back of your legs, these might be a little bit more challenging for you, but that's okay. Have a slight bend. It's okay to bend your knees as long as you're feeling the stretch where you need to feel it. Good, let's release that bind. Bring your hands to your hips and then inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart, Samasthiti. This time as we inhale, we're gonna take a wide step out to our right on our mats. Arms come into a T. And we're gonna pivot our right toes towards your right side of the mat. From here, we're gonna shift forward, bring that right arm down, left arm up, triangle pose, or Tita Trikonasana. So we want to make sure we're opening through our shoulder, lengthening the side body. Your gaze can be down or forward or up towards your hand. And then we just want to make sure that we're not making our hand go down so we're folding in. We want to keep that length and open. So if your hand's up here, that's okay. And then slowly we can work to open that. Good, looking down, inhale back up to a T. Pivot our right toes in, left toes out. And then again, we'll shift forward, left arm comes down, right arm comes up. Again, open the shoulder, lengthen the side. Don't worry about how far down that arm goes. Just breathe. Good. Looking down, inhale back up to a T. Left toes pivot in, right toes pivot out. This is a pose that I definitely need my block for, so I'm going to put that here. We're going to bring our hands to our hips as we square the hips towards the front of the mat. Slowly step that back foot up just a step. Inhale, left arm lifts for length. Exhale it down to the mat or to a block. As we twist to our right, right arm lifts for revolved side uh, triangle. Favorita Trikonasana. Feel yourself opening up, twisting open. Deep breaths. Good. 
Good. Inhale. Come back up to a T. And then pivot towards the opposite side. Hands can come back to your hips as you square your hips. Inhale. Right arm up. Exhale it down as we twist to our left. Left arm raises. And it might feel different one side to the other. We're not made symmetrically, and that's okay. Good. Inhale. Come back up to a T. As you exhale, step to the top of your mat. Hands come to heart center. Inhale. We're going to take another wide step right. Arms come to a T. Pivot your right toes towards the wall. Again, bend through your knee. This time, we're going to bring our forearm to our thigh. The left arm is going to come up and over for extended side angle. So we're reaching on the outer edge of our foot and forward with our fingertips, feeling our whole left side open. Engage through the right arm as well. Maybe spread the fingers wide. We want to make sure our knee's over our ankle, not past it. We don't want to put any more tension on the knee. Good. Inhale. Come back up. Pivot your right toes in. Left toes out. Bend through your left knee. Bring that forearm to your thigh. Right arm is going to come up and over. Again, rooting from your foot through your fingers. And try not to uh, hover in. Open the chest. Deep breaths. Good. Inhale. Come back up to a T. Left toes pivot in. Right toes pivot out. Bend back through that knee. Inhale. Hands to the heart center. As we exhale, we're going to twist to our right. Hook that left elbow on your knee as you twist. If you need to pivot to the ball of your back foot here, you can. Whatever works best for your body. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, come back up to a T. Pivot right toes in, left toes out. Bend through the left knee. Inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, let's twist to our left. Hook that right elbow. And again, if you need to pivot to the ball of your back foot, you can. Otherwise, you can keep it flat. Inhale, back up to a T. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, again, we'll take a wide step right. Arms come to a T. And we're going to keep the sides of our feet now parallel to the short ends of the mat. Inhaling our hands to our hips for length. Exhale, hinge and fold. We're going to draw our hands down to the mat. If you can't bring your hands to the mat, grab a block or something that can assist you. Shoulders under, or wrists under the shoulders. If you touch easily, start to bend back through the elbows, maybe walking your hands back a couple inches. Lengthen through the spine. Deep breaths. Allow your hands to come to your hips, and then inhale, lift back up. Exhale, arms to a T. Inhale, back to your hips for length. Exhale, hinge and fold. This time we're going to draw those elbows back towards each other as you fold. So keep the length through the spine. Squeeze those elbows towards each other. Nice deep breaths.
As you inhale next, begin to lift. Exhale, arms to a T. Inhale, back to your hips for length. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let's take a bind with our peace fingers and our big toes. Inhaling for length. Exhale, fold in. Elbows come out towards the sides. Release that bind. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, back up. Exhale, arms to a T. Inhale, take a bind behind your back. Gather length. Exhale, hinge and fold. You can rest your arms on your back, or if you want deeper, squeeze through those shoulders. Draw your arms away from your back. Keep the breath moving. Release your bind to your, your hips. Inhale, back up. Exhale, arms to a T, and then step to the top of your mat. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, we're going to take a shorter step to our right. And we're going to pivot both sets of feet so they're facing this end of your mat and create a little bit of space between your legs. But we want both feet facing the short end of your mat. We're going to take a bind behind us, maybe reverse prayer, maybe grab opposite elbows or just your palms. Inhale for length, exhale, hinge and fold. We want to keep our hips nice and square, lengthening and breathing. Keeping our binds, we're going to inhale back up, pivot towards the opposite side. When you have your feet where you need them to be, inhale, lift for length, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, release your bind as you lift. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Hands come back to heart center. So we are going to take balancing next. So uh, balancing, if you have trouble balancing, you can always go to a wall at your house or wherever you're at um, for extra support. Um, we're going to first start by rooting through our left leg. And then we're going to draw our right knee up. You can take a bind with your knee, or if you have the flexibility, grab your big toe, straighten through the leg. But you can just grab your knee, but if you do, keep that foot flexed to keep that leg engaged. Strong core. Keep the breath moving. As you exhale, draw that knee or leg over to the right side. If you have the balance and you want to turn your gaze left, you can, but you don't have to. Inhale, draw that knee back to center. Maybe bring your knee to your nose, maybe give it a little kiss. And then exhale, extend that leg straight out. As you exhale next, release it down, shake out what you need. And then we will take it on the opposite side. So rooting back through the right leg now. We'll bring our left knee up, take a bind. Flex that foot, stand nice and tall, nice strong core, breath is moving. Exhale, left knee comes to the left. Your gaze can come right if you choose. And inhale back to center. 
Bring that knee to your nose. Exhale, extend your legs straight out. And exhale, release down, shake it out. We're going to take one more balancing on each side. We're going to take tree pose. Or if you have a half bound lotus practice, you can take that as well. So let's root back through the left foot. And we're going to draw our right foot to either our ankle, our shin, or our thigh. We just don't want to put extra pressure on our knee. So whatever works for you. Hands can be at heart center, or you can grow them tall. Again, just nice strong core. Lengthening up, rooting through your foot. Deep breath. And as you exhale, draw that knee forward, release it down, shake it out. And we will root back through our right leg. And we'll bring our left foot to our ankle, shin, or thigh. Again, just not on our knee. Hands come to heart or grow it tall. And exhale, knee forward, release it down, shake it out. And we're going to come back to the top of our mats, coming into chair pose, Ukatasana. So being back at the top of your mats, coming into Ukatasana, chair pose, we want our feet underneath our knees and underneath our hip points, maybe a little bit together, but wherever your feet are, your knees should be also. So bending through the knees. If you want a nice deep chair, maybe sweep those arms down and up. Shoulders resting from the ears. We want to make sure our big toes are visible past our knees, whether we're up high or down low. Lengthening the spine, strong core, deep breath. As you exhale next, we're going to forward fold. Inhale halfway for length. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank pose, taking a vinyasa, shoulders over the wrists, bend through the elbows, lower the chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back down dog. From here, we're going to inhale our right foot forward, left foot plants, warrior one as we lift. Arms are reaching strong, shoulders resting, engaging through both the front and back leg. Being mindful of our knee, we want to make sure it's over our ankle or behind, we don't want it forward. Core is engaged, breath is strong. As you inhale, straighten that front leg, pivot it towards the back, Bending through your left knee, warrior one. Again, be mindful of the knee, engaging through both legs, slightly tucking the tailbone. We don't want to push our bottom out. We want to slightly tuck. As you exhale, open our arms wide, warrior two. Adjust your footing if you need. I know my warrior two is a little bit longer than my warrior ones. So engaging through the outer edge of your right foot, bending through the left knee and drawing it towards the pinky toe. Your knee wants to float in, keep it out. Nice strong arms. If your arms ever get tired, maybe just take a bind behind you, keeping the chest to open, shoulders down your back if they get tired. Inhaling, straighten the front leg, pivot towards your right side, bending through the right knee, warrior two. Add one more breath. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back, again take a vinyasa.
From here, we're going to come down and have a seat on our mat. Extending our legs straight out as you get there. Moving any flesh away from your sit bones if you need. And start to flex back through the feet. Engaging through the tops of the legs. Hands planting next to your hips. My strong arms, strong core, lift through the crown of your head. Dandasana, staff pose. And as we lengthen up, slightly tuck the chin. As you inhale next, arms lift for length. Exhale, hinge forward. Take a bind where you can for Paschimottanasana. So if you can't reach your toes, that's okay. Reach for your shins, your ankles, and just pull the chest through. You just don't want to round here, so keep the length through the spine. As you inhale, release your bind as you lift up. We're going to plant our hands behind our hips, fingers pointed towards our bottom. Two options, you can come into reverse table, planting your feet down, lifting through the hips. If it's comfortable, you can rest your head back. If that's not comfortable for your neck, you can keep it up. Just try to really lift high through the hips. If you want to take it deeper, extend the legs back out, coming into reverse plank, trying to bring those toes to the mat, again, lifting high through the hips. Exhaling, lower down. And in between our seated sets, you're welcome to take an additional vinyasa. They are optional, so if you'd rather just sit and rest, you're welcome to do so. If you want to take a vinyasa, um, kind of come up into a boat pose, cross your legs and roll forward, coming into a plank, and then take a vinyasa. Please just keep the heat flowing through your body. And then once you come through to down dog, you can hop back through the seated. Legs extending out. We're going to bring our right knee up, and then we're going to place it down. We're going to face our extended leg, flex the foot. Inhale, arms lift for length. Exhale, hinge forward. Take a bind where you can, pulling that chest in as you fold. Intentionally drawing that right knee towards the mat to open through the hip a little deeper. And breathe. Inhale, release your bind, lift back up. Your right knee lifts and then you bring it out. And then inhale that left knee up, place it down. So facing our right leg, flex the foot. Inhale, arms lift for length. Exhale, hinge forward. Again, take a bind. Pull that chest through. Draw that left knee down intentionally towards the mat. And breathe. As you inhale, next, release your bind, lifting up. Left knee lifts, bring it out, vinyasa if you choose. Once you come back to your mat, again, extend your legs straight out. We're going to bring our right knee up. And you can keep your foot planted here or cross it over your left leg, whatever works best for you. Right hand plants behind you. Inhale, left arm up for length. Exhale, twist to your right. Hug your knee or you can hook your arm as you twist. Lengthening up with each inhale, twisting deeper with each exhale. Your left foot remains flexed back to keep that leg engaged. We want 
make sure we're not just leaning in on this arm. This arm's just here to help lengthen us. Good. Inhale, come back through the center. Uncross your leg, bring it out, and then we'll switch sides. Left knee lifts. You can keep this foot planted or cross it over your right leg. Left hand plants behind you. Inhale, right arm lifts for length. Exhale, hug or hook your arm as you twist left. Again, lengthening up with each inhale, twisting deeper with each exhale. Inhale back to center, maybe counter twist to your right, and then uncross your leg, vinyasa if you choose. We're going to plant our feet once we reach our mats again. And maybe grab behind your thighs. Open through the chest, drop the shoulders. We're going to come into Navasana Boat Pose. So if this is enough for you, you can stay here or maybe lift through the legs. You can keep this bind or if you want to take it deeper, release the bind. You can straighten the arms, straighten the legs, whatever version, whatever works best for your body. We just don't want to round. Keep the length through the spine. Nice deep breaths. Maybe even smile. As you exhale, cross your legs, come down, maybe take a bump up, and then we'll inhale back, boat pose. Exhale, cross your legs, take a bump up, and then one more round. Coming back into boat. Again, keep that bind if you'd like. But the breath has to stay strong. You can either exhale and take that bump up or cross your legs, roll forward, take another vinyasa. back through to seated and then we're going to bring the soles of our feet together and knees come out through the sides sliding your feet towards your body we're going to grab our feet for a bind maybe trying to open them up like a book and then we're going to inhale lengthen up exhale hinge forward fold if you do my body does not fold in this pose and that's okay some of you may be able to come flat down, but everybody is different. That's what's great about yoga. If you want to use your elbows against your knees, you can. Again, just keeping length through the spine. And then inhale, lift, last vinyasa if you choose. And then when you come back down, we are going to make our way to our back. So planting your feet down to the mat once you get there. Hands can plant next to your hips and start to walk your feet back close towards your bottom. We're going to inhale, lift through the hips for bridge pose, Satu Bandhasana, or if you have a wheel pose practice, you're welcome to take that pose as well. If you want to take it deeper, you can take a bind underneath you and walk your shoulder blades under, just really pushing down through the forearms, so lift high through the hips, nice deep breath.
Exhale, release your bind, lower down. Maybe bring your knees in as you rock back up to seated. Extending your legs straight out again. Flexing back through the feet. Inhale, arms lift for length. Exhale, hinge forward, take a bind again for Paschimottanasana, this time for a few more breaths. Take this time to just reconnect with the breath. Nice. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Inhaling, release your bind, lift back up. Again, we're going to make our way to our backs. Um, a couple options here. We're going to take either shoulder stand, so one of us have a or you can take a modified version. So there is a few different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the modifications first before I do the full version. So we're going to come back to our back. And if you'd like, you can just lay back and bring your legs straight up. That's option one. Option two, if you have a block, you're welcome to lift through the hips, slide the block under your sacrum, lift the legs straight up. Or if you want to take a full shoulder stand, you might want to scoot up on your mat. We're going to draw our legs behind us, support our low back, and then lift as we walk our shoulder blades under, pushing down through your triceps so you can lift high through the lift, go through the hips and legs. Keeping our gaze focused upward to keep our neck safe. Nice deep breaths. And what we want to try to do is pull that pelvic bone back behind us. Instead of pushing it out, we want to try to pull it up to try to get our shoulders, hips, knees, ankles all in line with each other. If you're in a modification, you can stay there. If you're in full shoulder standing, you start to lower your legs behind you, coming into Halasana Plow Pose. If your feet touch the mat, you're welcome to release your back. You can try to start to straighten through the legs, or if you'd rather take ear pressure pose, bend through the knees, squeeze through the temples or your ears. And then we'll slowly start to lower down. And you can use as little or as much core as you'd like here. Slowly lower down. And then we're going to bring our legs straight out. Hands come in underneath your bottom. We're going to push through those forearms, lift through the chest, drop your head back for fish pose, Matsyasana. If your head does touch the mat, you're welcome to take a deeper uh, bend. You can lift through the legs, lift through the arms, or you can keep them down. As you exhale, lower back down. Bring your knees into your chest, maybe rock side to side. From here, we're going to come back up. And if you have a headstand practice, now is the time that we would do that. Um, if you'd rather just do a headstand prep, you can do that. Um, I'll show you the prep first. Um, if you also want to move your mat to a wall where you're free to kind of help kick your legs up, you can do that as well. So if you just want to do the prep for a headstand, we're going to 
Come into table pose, knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, and then drop to the forearms. So we want our elbows underneath our shoulders, and we're going to clasp our fingers together. So this is where the back of our head rests into. So headstand, actually, we don't want any pressure on our head. We want to use our arms, our upper body strength. So we're really using more shoulders. So when you rest the back of your head into your hands, start to tuck the toes, lifting into somewhat of a down dog. And again, now is the time you want to start pushing that weight through the forearms and not on your head. And you can stay here, or if you want, you can start to walk your feet towards you, beginning to bring those hips over the shoulders. And you can stay here. And you can practice this as much or as little as you want. And then to take full, um, again, you're welcome to have a wall behind you. Push down, and then maybe you can start to kick up. Maybe coming to bent legs. <laughs> and then when you're ready, lift up. Again, not having any pressure on the head, push through those forearms into the shoulders, lengthening up strong core, deep breaths. Stay here for as many breaths as you like, and then maybe when you slowly come down, just take a child's pose for a few breaths. I like to draw my arms behind me, kind of take the weight off my shoulders for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, just lift up, we're going to meet back seated on our mats. And you can come into just a comfortable seat if you want to take half lotus or full lotus here, you're welcome to do so. Maybe take a bind behind you, grab opposite elbows or wrists, and then we're going to inhale, lift for length, exhale, hinge forward and fold. As you inhale, begin to lift back up. We're going to release our bind, bring the back of our hands to our knees. Thumb and index finger can come together. And just sit nice and tall. You can rest your eyes or create a focal point again for your gaze. And just kind of soak in your practice. Take some breaths here. Just settling in. From here, you can choose to just stay seated for your Shavasana or begin to lie back on your mat. Get comfortable if you want a blanket over top of you, something under your neck. You're going to have to bring your feet out to each corner of the mat. Your arms can rest down by your sides. And let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Just letting go. Releasing the body. Releasing the breath. Finding stillness as you enter Shavasana.
forward. Start to deepen through your breath. Just gently awakening the body. Beginning some small movements by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Your wrists and ankles. Maybe taking a long stretch behind you. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest for a hug. And from here, you can roll over to your favorite side. And when ready, just gently bring yourself back up and have a seat on your mat. Draw our hands together at heart setting. Thank you so much for joining me today in this practice. Come back to your intention. Take a moment to just seal that in with your practice. The light within me, it bows, honors, and reflects that beautiful light in each of you. Namaste. Thank you so much again. Um, please follow us on our YouTube channel for more videos to come. Um, we already have a guided relaxation meditation available. Um, we'll be working on some more too. So um, you can check out our website at www.intouchllc, that's E-N-T-O-U-C-H-L-L-C.com um, for all our information, all our services. Um, and there is also a, don a donation link on the um, homepage if um, you're so inclined to do so. So thank you again. <laughs>